All right, let's bring in Judge Andrew Napolitano. He scrambled here because I believe it was Tuesday when Bill Clinton, in a, in a sort of NFL <laughs> moment, decides to come out and say what we all know. Obamacare is collapsing, and the model doesn't even work. Listen. So you've got this crazy system where all of a sudden 25 million more people have health care, and then the people are out there busting it sometimes 60 hours a week, wind up with their premiums doubled and their coverage cut in half. It's the craziest thing in the world. The mic and went off, and, and Mitch McConnell said, "Thank you very much." Right. That's what everyone's been right. saying and about his, this. And his, wife, and his wife. wife said, "What the heck are you doing to me?" Yeah. His criticisms are right on the mark. It's astonishing. Well, maybe not because he's so inscrutable. You can't always predict what he's going to say or how he's going to say it. But for him, for it to come out of the mouth of the former president of the United States, who was the spouse of the current Democratic uh, nominee, crystallizes in, in a way that, candidly, no Republican could. The problems with Obamacare. It has hurt more people than it has helped. It has demoralized the medical profession. It has sent top flight doctors fleeing from having to do this. Some of the states have actually lost insurance carriers in those states because they lose money by staying in the states and servicing Obamacare and complying with its uh, regulations. 17 of the 23 that signed up for the exchanges have said, I'm out of here, including Aetna. And from the president's point of view, the class of people he wanted to help the most, this has harmed the most. Deductibles have gone up, costs have yeah, gone up. More than 50 percent. So many of them have have had to go to different doctors, an issue he promised would never happen. Now, Judge, Donald Trump keeps saying he wants to repeal it. Is that easy to do? How is he going to do that? Well, repeal it would be, replace. Right. With it, it's not easy to do. Remember, this is 2,700 pages, and it's compromise upon compromise upon compromise in order to get it passed without a single Republican uh, vote. Uh, Donald Trump would, would obviously need substantial majorities in both houses of uh, Congress, and they could write any law they want. They could totally get rid of it and leave it up to the, the free market. They could totally get rid of it and leave it up to uh, the states. They could make it fairer and have fewer regulations and remove the requirement that you're going to have your assets taken away from you if you don't get health insurance. Well, stay tuned for that. Let's see what yes. happens. All right. Uh, meanwhile, well, a moment ago, you used the word astonishing. <laughs> Republicans on Capitol Hill yesterday demanded of the FBI answers to the astonishing agreement between the Department of Justice and two of Hillary Clinton's aides where give us your laptop, you get limited immunity, and we'll bust them afterwards. The Republicans on Capitol Hill are apoplectic because it's like, hey, there was stuff on those laptops we congressional investigators could have used. This is a new low for the FBI, and, and it's a head-scratcher as to how this came about. The government simply does not destroy evidence that it has acquired in a case in which there is a prosecution, and uh, no prosecution. When there is a prosecution, they keep the evidence presented to the jury and then either retain it or give it back to its source or, uh, afterwards. When there's no prosecution, they either keep it until the statute of limitations has run here five years, or they give it back, but to destroy it, knowing that another entity, the House of Representatives, has subpoenaed it. Also, a federal judge yeah. had ordered it produced in the Freedom of Information Act uh, cases, is an example of the government breaking its own laws. It's fishy. The There's FBI, something fishy about the, it. the Justice Department would prosecute any one of us and anyone watching now who knowingly destroyed evidence that the government had subpoenaed. Yeah. So when people said the FBI was doing this deal, they were bystanders in this, correct? The, these decisions, that's a great question. These decisions were made by the Justice Department, right. which used the FBI to further right. the president's political goals. The word early in this segment was astonishing. Can we use the term abruptly now? The Department of Justice abruptly dropped a case against a Libyan arms dealer who evidently was the go-between to get arms to the Libyan rebels, somehow were ferrying up to Syria. Can you unwind this for yes, us? Yes, this is another case in which the Department of Justice is carrying water for Mrs. Clinton. She's the Secretary of State. She orchestrates this uh, this effort to topple Gaddafi, which ultimately is successful in toppling him, but disastrous for Libya. And our own ambassador gets uh, gets assassinated. One of the means she used was to use her power as Secretary of State to exempt certain arms dealers from the UN embargo. Bottom line: American arms dealers are now under Mrs. Clinton shipping heavy military-grade arms to rebel groups. 
in Libya, supposedly to topple Gaddafi. The CIA is saying, wait a minute, Mrs. Clinton, some of these rebel groups are not really rebel groups. They're terrorist organizations that are going to use the arms against us. Right. One of those arms dealers, who never shipped a single weapon to these creeps, was indicted by the Justice Department for attempting to do it. His defense was... Mrs. Clinton authorized it. Mrs. Clinton knew what was going on. Mrs. Clinton was involved in supplying arms to terrorist organizations. Two weeks before the trial, dropped the case. Right. Because they didn't want this defense to play out in a public courtroom. And by the way, a lot of those arms end up in Syrian rebels, a lot of terrorist organizations. That's Some of those arms are being used against us today. Wow. That's astonishing. It is astonishing. All right. But I still so go with the word abrupt. Abrupt. Very yeah. good. Abrupt. Take some abrupt. grammar course recently? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I got an SAT coming up at the end of the month. Uh, thanks a lot, right, Hope to get into a college. <laughs> I'll write you a letter of recommendation. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.